guys. Okay. I'm going to keep this short and sweet. I've started doing the self-care vlog and I will be posting my morning routine tomorrow. All right. I'm putting that up. But what I want to talk today, what I wanted to say, mention today in a very short fashion, in a very succinct, you know, abbreviated fashion is if you're going to take the self-care journey with me, which I hope that you will, I hope that you will find some value in it. It's going to have a lot of value for me because it's going to force me to get real about my self-care, which by the way, has, you know, I haven't been so disciplined about it. I just want to create a better and more enjoyable life for myself. And because everything in the world is so heavy and, you know, just, ugh, uh, I just haven't, I've just been so exhausted. <clears throat> so, and I haven't been really on top of my, on top of my self care at all. So what I'm bringing to the table here is over 10 years as a licensed medical massage therapist who, who's pretty aware of her own body and being and, uh, very sensitive, all of my energy work, all of my metaphysical knowledge that goes back from when I was like 16. So that's like 20 somewhat years. My, I've been meditating for over 20 years and teaching meditation for f about 15 years. I'm bringing all this stuff to the table, all the things that I know and have learned and even more things that I haven't that I've always wanted to do, but never did. I just want to get a better quality self-care. And I want to help other people to really <clears throat> get more into their own self-care. Because, like I said, everything's so heavy out there. And and usually, in my own experience, just from uh, working with people is and knowing other people and such, is that we wait until the very last minute to start thinking about self-care like we're we'll be teetering on on the edge of burnout before we're just like oh yeah you know maybe i should reduce my stress like that but we want to take care of ourselves so we don't get to there so i'm doing this and it's probably going to have to go on youtube i it may end up being oh, i don't know how it's going to be formatted yet i'm just doing this on the fly i'm just doing it on the fly but like for so for today i did this whole video i of what i do i get up in the morning and i'll post that like i said oh i'll post that i don't know if i said that i'll post that tomorrow um what i would like you to do today is make a list of all the things that you need and i'm gonna do this too make a list of all the essentials you need to survive that's one list those are needs because to take good care of yourself and and to improve on that you need to know what you need that's one two make another list of things of your own routines and things that you do that are absolutely necessary things that you can't compromise on make that list and then three i want you to um put in different sections emotionally mentally physically spiritually other things that you would like to have time to do for yourself or things that you would that things that you think that you need that you aren't providing for yourself now because what is self-care it's not just a spa treatment oh it's self-care self-care is prov is providing yourself with what you need so and not just like physical stuff, you know, not just uh, stretching or meditating. I, it can be other things like friendship, uh, quiet, things like that. Make make a couple of lists for yourself. This way, and I'm going to do, like I said, I'm going to do the same. You have a snapshot of where you are right now. And I'm going to do that and I'm going to see where I want to improve and then I'm going to do different things and I'm going to 
show you what I'm doing and maybe it will inspire you to do the same. And the other thing is time management. Now I'm real good at time management and only because I've been a massage therapist for so long, I've had to be really good about my time management. But now that I haven't been working, it's kind of like every day's melting into the next day. So I want to get really more fine tuned on my time management and um, I'll work with that. But anyways, make those lists and I'll come back tomorrow and I'll show you my morning routine and we'll talk about it. All right. Toodaloo. Enjoy your Tuesday. Man, I just, I can't record here and have my Spotify on. And I had, I'm listening to Nina Simone. I was re listening to the Dead and Company show from Dallas because it's on the archives. That helped slip. Franklin's was something extraordinary. Okay. So right now what I'm doing, I did a whole self-care day. I actually cleaned. I woke up. I did my meditation. I did my prayers. I stretched. And then I cleaned. Um, and you know what? Uh, cleaning, even though it's like a, a task or whatever, it's really good for self-care because when there's a lot of clutter, the energy tends to like just feel a little bit more heavy in your living space. And it always makes me feel better when it just like, it just makes me, yeah, it just makes me feel better all around when my place is clean, when everything's dusted, the floors are clean. So that's what I did today. I did a little bit of a cleaning, but I still have a lot of organizing stuff to do for my fall spring cleaning whatever so anyways i purchased patches my cat these steps and i'm putting it together and she's already here excited so that's what i'm doing this is not really self-care but my kitties gives me loves and cozies and so i have treated her to this she's so walking around by it um and so i'm self-caring i'm doing some care for my cat that's another thing like in our day well you know everybody it's, it's just, i'm not it's not like i'm re i'm not reinventing the wheel here you know uh in our day we take care of others and then it, it's harder to take care of ourselves and so i've spent a, a long part of today just spending the whole day doing things that I know are going to make me feel good, taking give me less stress. That's another thing. When, the, when my living space is clean, it's just less stressful for me. And then I can focus on things that I really, you know, want to do. Uh, although my inner child doesn't really like to clean, but that's okay. Um, so, yeah, I'm caring for, for patches right now. And I'm putting stuff together. And by the way... Even though for some people putting things together and it might seem like a daunting task, I love that shit. Uh, I was a person in shop class who actually liked to be there. I dream one day of having my own woodworking shop. I just love the smell of fresh wood. Uh, you know, but I'm a weirdo. Anyway, find things that bring you joy. This gives me joy. It gives me joy to bring others joy too, which is kind of like, a little bit, you know, it's like, it's not really selfless, but it, it makes me feel good to make my cat feel good. Um, anyway, so this is what I'm doing right now. And I just thought I'd, oh, it's three, 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 uh, come on here. And, um, <laughs> she's excited. I'm going to get going on this. Uh, I know I'm getting on, I'm getting on to it. <laughs> I'll put another video to show you guys when I'm done uh, how she likes this thing. Okay, bye.